Thank you, Anne. Um, thank you, everyone. I'm happy to be here to give you an update on child care in Door County. Um, there's a lot going on with child care. And so in 10 minutes or less, I am going to give you an update. So I've got a lot of slides. If you miss some information on a slide, do not worry. It, they are there to just um, supplement, provide some additional information. I'm happy to share them afterwards or talk more in more detail. So um, do not worry if, if you miss something. And with that, um, we'll go on to the next slide, Anne. So in thinking about child care in Door County, um, it's, it's really easy, especially over the last year, to be thinking, wow, what a, a struggle it has been, what has happened. Um, we're also working hard to take a forward future looking mindset with Door County because that we want to want a sustainable approach to it and we need to be paying attention to things today that impact us in the future. So just think about those questions for a minute. What do you want Door County to be in the future and therefore what should we be paying attention to? Um, next slide. We did a survey in November, which went to the general community. We partnered with the city of Sturgeon Bay with the software they have that sends it everywhere. So we weren't just relying on people that we've been talking with about childcare. And we posed this question to them, gave them a long list of issues and areas that um, they thought think might be important and asked them to identify the top three. And you can see here that the participants that we had out of the 129 people who responded to the survey, they ranged in age from 20 to 85. They were 73% female and 27% male. But um, out of those, the top three were childcare, housing, and workforce attraction and retention. Um, so even with going countywide and asking this question, childcare easily pops to the top of the list. And the next slide, please. Um, we also looked at the overlap in these things. And so when we talk about this, it can be easy to feel like you're juggling between childcare and housing. Are you asking, are you working on one without paying attention to the other? No, we are aware of the overlap in these issues and how they rise and fall together. And so we are working with community partners on housing as well as childcare um, and other issues to look to a brighter future in Door County. Although we're already very bright, we wanna keep improving and things um, helping our community members. So next slide. So when it comes to childcare, people who work in the area of childcare and study it often identify four general issues by which um, the status of child care is um, rated and how you think about it. And that's access to child care. Is it available in the community? Affordability, how much does it cost and how much is, how does that cost compare to what families in the area can afford? Quality in terms of um, what the children are receiving and then workforce, which is an area that often gets overlooked. So the child care providers themselves, they are a crucial component of child care, which you might think goes without saying, but they are often overlooked. So in this community aspiration survey, we had four questions that asked about these issues and you can click and um, on the last column, all you need to see here is that everyone thought all four of these aspects were very important. And the one, on one vein, that's great for us. Um, in another vein, that makes it challenging to decide where do we need to put some effort uh, in order to um, improve things in the community. So next slide. So United Way has been working on um, looking at our child care system, looking at where our strengths are, looking where there are challenges or things that can be improved upon. And we've been doing a lot of different things for the past 14 months. And this just gives you a sense of what we've been doing and what I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna dive a little bit deeper into those four aspects of child care. And just to give you a sense of uh, the information that I report where that's coming from. So next. The first thing we have is access. 
And as many of you may know, we have three licensed child care group centers across the county, um, Northern Door Children's Center, Door Community Child Development Center, and Adventures Child Care in Brussels. Um, Home-based providers can be certified and um, they go through a sort of approval regulation process. We have two of those. And then we have a host of uncertified home-based providers, which can be family members, friends, um, neighbors, other people who are caring for people's kids. Um, can you click that next one, please? So as you might know, um, when you think about availability or access pre-pandemic, pandemic, and post-pandemic, um, the three licensed child care uh, group centers together account for about 225 child care slots. And the, the availability of that um, by the Door Community Child Development Center, the pandemic caused financial strain for the Barker Center that had been operated by, by the YMCA. And um, so we were without, we were down one child care center out of three um, a few months into the pandemic. And the community banded together and um, put a lot of effort into having another group fill that slot. And we were successful in doing that. And we're very happy that we were able to do that. That just shows the strength of our community. Um, can you click the next slide, please? But another thing that we need to pay attention to is availability versus need and thinking about how many kids are there in Door County that need care. Whereas availability has gone up and down throughout the pandemic when people um, don't feel comfortable having others in their home or their financial issues with the um, licensed group centers and their ability to be open, the kids are here and the kids need care. The U.S. Census data tells us that um, we have about a thousand kids in Door County that are five years old or younger. Um, so we can estimate from that that we have five-year-olds are often in school, preschool, most of them are there. We've got about 800 that are four years old or younger. So when we've got 225 kids that are in the licensed child care group centers, centers um, a couple dozen others that are being cared for by home-based providers. We don't know how many um, are, what the nature of their care is for the home-based, the uncertified home-based providers. So we are working hard to learn more about that part of the system. It is a crucial, essential part of childcare in our county. And um, we are looking to connect with people and learn more about that. So if anyone wants to talk more with me about that later, I'm happy to do so. Next slide. This is just some basic stats on um, what childcare costs at the licensed group centers in our county. And um, you may have known this or you may not have that it's equivalent per year, ten to $12,000 is equivalent to one year's tuition at the University of Wisconsin-Madison in state. Um, so that's just what the numbers are. Um, next slide. There is a program through the state, Wisconsin Shares, that provides a subsidy um, to families and there are eligibility requirements that go to that. The subsidy usually covers about 30% of the cost. So um, I'm also happy to provide more information about Wisconsin shares if people want to learn more about that. Next slide, please. Quality, we're doing a very good job with quality across our county. Um, this just gives you an idea, some more specific details about how we think about quality. Top of mind for a lot of people is safety and cleanliness, especially during the pandemic. But also there are these various aspects of development that um, trained child care providers take into account uh, with their lessons plans. And that's physical, cognitive, social, and emotional. Those things are very important. And we're doing a good job of that across the, the county with our providers. Next, please. So lastly, I want to talk about workforce. And I don't leave this last because it's least important. I'm talking about it last because I want it to be the last thing you think about and um, think about more after tonight's talk. So we have about 55 providers in the, across the county in our three group centers. 
And then each of those, each of the centers has a group, has a director, a center director. Out of our workforce, they're mainly females, um, 20 to 60 years old, and almost half of them have a post-secondary degree related to early childhood education. The hourly wage they make is about $14 an hour. Um, that's striking. Yes, it is. And it's slightly above the state average, which is closer to about $12 an hour. And they also um, don't have healthcare retirement benefits. So those things contribute to staff turnover at the centers. Um, I hear people say that being a child care provider is one of the most rewarding jobs, but is also one of the toughest, toughest jobs. It's the most important, but also one of the most underpaid, you might argue, jobs. So we are working hard to address workforce in our county. It's one of the most important things to have sustainable, high quality child care in our county. We need more providers. Um, and they have skills and knowledge that is not easily replaced. Um, it takes training, takes experience, and um, a real special person. So we need to be recruiting those individuals to come to Door County. And that's why we also want to know more about the home-based providers. We really want to connect with them um, to learn more about how they're operating, how we can support them. Um, to that, like I said, they are part of the child care system and we think about them just like um, in that way. So this takes us back to wrapping it up here, last slide. What, what do you want the future to be and what do we need to be paying attention to? We're working hard um, and we're reaching with, out to the community. Um, about the next steps, how we can improve the system, what are the things the community can get behind and support. And we have ongoing committee work, conversations, events, um, and we hope you can get involved. And anyone who wants to learn more, reach out to me at any time. Or Amy, thank you so much. Okay, thank you, Christina.